The president's policy when it relates to the economy is working, right? We see uh, we see uh, created jobs. The president, under his economic plan, has created jobs, more than 12 million jobs. And that's time for the Hot Topic Buzz. That was White House Press Secretary Karine Jean-Pierre touting President Biden's economic policies. This says American workers are cutting down their work week. A new report finds that the average U.S. worker cut their weekly hours by over 30 minutes since the pandemic. Some workers feel that their jobs can be threatened by AI, and that's just the beginning of it. Your thoughts, Kaylee? Well, we're seeing this statistically, especially among young men. So there are about 7 million men in prime working age right now who are just sitting out of the labor market entirely. And I think the same attitude is present, especially among younger adults, my generation, Gen Z. So many of these young adults are graduating from college and expecting to get jobs that pay them six figures right away. And when those jobs don't pay, or they don't allow them to work from home, then they just decide to sit at home with mom and dad. So it's uh, the same thing. Is it's this sense of entitlement present in both demographics, and the pandemic surely exacerbated it. Well, there's another there's another story in the journal this morning about this new report that shows elder workers are in demand, uh, as employers feel that the older generations tend to work. A harder, have a harder work ethic. 61% of the people ages 18 to 29 think hard work is very important, while 75% of the people ages 65 and up think the same. We do. Yeah. Because we know what hard work is, because a lot of us uh, have been through, I don't know, the dot com bust when everybody was running around in San Francisco in Lamborghinis and buying wineries, and all of a sudden they were back in their parents' basements. Right. We know what it's like to have to work. And this younger generation, I call them Generation Snowflake, doesn't understand that. And then during COVID, it was like, oh, I can work in my pajamas. This is great. Right. Yeah. Oh, I think I'm going to take a two-hour lunch because nobody's going to know. And you guess what? Until, until companies start to actually hold these workers accountable, yeah. they're going to keep getting away with this. I'm not surprised at all. Well, it's also the tone that the White House sets, all this free stuff, right? You want to forgive student loan debt. You want to keep, you know, putting more stimulus money out there. That sets a tone and makes people believe that, you know, the government will take care of me. I don't have to work hard. Right. And you can't teach work ethic, but you can actually very easily do the exact opposite. And you can pollute children's mindsets into believing there's no need to try hard. We live in a participation trophy culture. Nobody has to try hard anymore. <laughs> Everybody's a winner. Everybody gets a trophy. And we're now seeing that manifest itself in the labor market. To Kaylee's point, not only do they want six figures, they want equity in my company. Mm -hmm. They just graduated from college a month yep. ago, and they want equity in my they, company they I've owned for 20 years. They didn't go through the Great Recession like all of right. us did. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, here it comes. To your point, you know, Dr. Jill Biden, the first lady, wants both teams in women's basketball to go to the White House. Participation trophy, right? Exactly. And that's, that's very disrespectful to the winner. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. Because it's a big thing for the winner to go to the White House. Right. All right, let's take a break.